All right, guys, welcome back to JS Graphics. It's nice to have you guys back on my channel. So today I will share with you guys how to create this awesome birthday flyer. All right. So I will lead you guys through how you get this done in minutes, right? So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and as well liking the video. Thank you guys for doing that. So now, as usual, the first thing I will do is to take this away so this is what i'll be teaching you guys today right so i'll take this away now what i will do from here now is to import the image the better image i'll be designing so i'll head to gallery and i will import so i will check for the um image i'll be designing as you can see from here, I have uh, a lot of um, picture of the same image with different position or postures. So I'll pick two images. All right, I'll pick one first, which is this. I'll go with this first. All right, so I'll go with this and um, I'll just keep this for now. And then I will head to gallery and import another um, picture of the same um, lady with a different position or a different um, posture, right? So I will check, um, I will import this. Right. So for now, let me just um, hide this one and then I will increase this. All right, I will click on this. On this and then I will increase it to fit and uh, design area and then I'll position this at the center all right center okay let me increase it more and then position it at the center all right so after I've done this the next thing I will do now is to change the background color and then um, while ch choosing your color, take time to um, know the kind of color you're using depending on the um, picture or the or the color of the image you're trying to design. As you can see, looking at this picture, I will, um, a blue color, uh, other colors can go with this. So I'll be, I'll be making use of the blue gradients, blue gradients color combination for this tutorial, all right? So what I'll do now is to change the color of my background. So I'll click on gradient and now we change the color, right? So I'm making it of blue, which is, so I'll first of all, change the color of the first, um, I'll first of all, change the color of the first, um, of this, all right? So I would like to pick a blue color, which is, um, I can just, um, mm, can just, um, change this to get a definite blue color but for the sake of this story I have a color code which I used earlier for my uh, initial design so I'll use that color code instead of um, trying to start afresh to get that same color which I can get from here so I'll use that color code by editing sorry by editing this to that exact color code I use So this is um 4471. So this is what I used earlier. So this will just give me that exact blue color I use. And this is it, right? Just a little bit different from what I formed earlier. Alright, so now we'll change the color of this as well to a lighter version of this color, a lighter version. Alright, so I will this from here. So instead of trying to get a lighter part here, which I can also get from here, I will then use that exact, I want to get that exact color I used earlier. So I will use color code to get that exact color. So this color code works well by giving me the exact color I used with my initial design. So I will type in the color code, which is um, 2392. C9. Okay. 
Okay. All right, just this. As you can see. All right. So from here now, I will edit and uh, I work on this image, this bigger image. This bigger image, right? Okay, let me enable the other one so I'll get um a good position with the first one, right? So let me enable this and then I will lock this. I will lock this and um and I'll work with this. So I'll just increase this and I'll put it around this side. I think this is just great and then i can then position the both of them as well at the center by doing this and then putting them at the center so i can get uh, a nice design right okay so from here now what i will do now is to work on the image at the background so let me hide this this one okay let me hide this one and then work on this one all right so now I'll head to the filter and I will filter the color. So I will increase the saturation. Sorry, I will reduce the saturation of this to zero. So I'll get a faded or an abstract color. All right. So after this, what I will do now is to um, head to the opacity and then I'll reduce this. So I'll make this just 80, 80 degrees. Um, 80 percent is good, just good. So after I've done this, I will then enable this, right? I will then enable this, all right? So as you can see, we are actually heading somewhere. Let me lock this now. We are heading somewhere. Okay, from here now, what I will do next is to blend the image I've got now with the background. So I'll get a very nice design. So I'll head to shape as well. Head to shape. And then I will extend this. I will extend this. I'll just extend this to cover up these parts. Alright, so it's so let me just do this. And then this stops here and I'll bring this down. Okay. So now I will click on gradient and then without choosing any color, the plus button and I will head to this place. All right, before doing that, let me change this exact um, initial color to the color, to the darker part of the background color. All right, so I'm just going to change that to the darker part of the background color. Sorry. So I'll just put that same code I used for the darker part so I can get that exact color. So using that exact color for the blending and for the background makes it rhymes together without giving any different um, color. So make sure you use that exact color combination. So I'll use one one four four seven one. Right. So if you're using any other color, make sure the color of the background rhymes with the color of the blending um, shape. Okay. So from here, I will head to this area and then the color buckets and i will move this to the transparent side all right so which gives me this gradients this exact gradient which is what exactly what i want all right so from here i will just duplicate once and then i will place it down yeah, exactly this way okay after this is done the next thing i will do here is to type in my name sorry Type in the happy birthday test and uh, the name of the celebrant. So guys, like I said earlier, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and liking the video. Also, do well to turn on the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I release any video. Subscribing to my channel is free, so it's very free, 100% free. So subscribe and um, like as well. Thank you guys for doing that. So now, like I said, I will increase this. I will use this test to write in the birthday test. So I'll make this um, happy, the first in capitals, and then I'll make it happy. All right. So what I'll do from here is to increase by increasing. I'll just draw it this way. Okay, and I'll place it here. So I need to change this now to another font style. Another font style. So I'll pick a very stylish font. Like, um...
black pen which is what i used earlier i choose black pen okay so from here let me um make this bigger all right so this is just great okay so we'll have to copy this and then type in the birthday tests birthday all right and then i'll make this one a little bit bigger than the happy test so i'll place this here okay let me reduce it more just small now just place it here all right Okay. so this is just great so from here what i'll do next is type in the name so i'll head to test and i'll type in nos mirror as um the name of the celebrant all in capital letters nos mirror so for this i will use a different um a different font a very bold font because i want to emphasize more on this name not actually the birthday so that's what makes this difference so I'll head to um the ab icon and i'll choose a bold font so i'll choose um all right i'll choose eastman for this okay all right, I'll reduce a bit and then I'll make sure I position it at the center of the design, right? Just like this. So now what I'll do next is to change the color as well. So I will head to color and I'll pick a color that just goes best with this background. So I'll pick the color outside the white. So I'm making use of, um, I'm making use of the yellow color combination. So I'll just find yellow here. All right, so I'll pick this. Okay, after I've done this, I will head to the shadow and I will enable this shadow as well. So making the radius um, three and then the offset two, two or three should be better. And then I'll have to reduce the opacity of the black color. So I'll click on this plus icon and I'll reduce this a bit. So it won't be that too thick or too dark, all right? So just this way. So with this same test, I will copy it and then I will edit it to the date and month of the um, celebrants dates and uh, months, giving it this uh, spacing October all right I think this font doesn't uh, accept numbers so I'll change this font to another font so you make use of um Weber's new bow all right and then I'll place this here so I would just need to reduce the spacing between the number and the month. So I'll head to the line spacing and then I'll reduce the space. I'll reduce it so and then I'll increase it. Increase it. Yeah. Okay, what next? So I head to align and I'll make it to be at the center of each other, just this way. Yeah, this is just great. Okay. Okay, so guys, after this, what I'll do next is I want to make I want to make this background um look more um look more professional uh, apart apart from the normal color background so i'll head to the background and i'll pick a very nice background a very nice background so guys don't forget to like and subscribe so i'll pick just this background okay So I'll make use of this one ratio, which is exactly the size of the flyer we're designing. So from here, I will click on it and then I'll reduce it. Sorry, I'll increase. 
I'll increase now to fit this. All right, just this way. So now I will head to the opacity and I will make this 14. Should be just great, 14. And then I'll take it to the back, to the back, just like this. So from here, if you want to add any other text, you can add. And if not, you can then save. So guys, thank you for watching. Just what you need to do now is to save by clicking here and saving as image. Then for uh, dimension, you choose ultra, ultra quality. That's right. So thank you for watching. I see you guys next in my next tutorial.